All right then, gang. So as far as the TypeScript is concerned, we've pretty much completed the project. So hopefully now you understand how to get up and running with TypeScript and Vue, and you've seen some of the benefits of using it. So to finish off, I just wanted to create a video to add a few final styles, images, and also a custom Zelda font, which is this thing over here, Hylia Serif. So just click on this right here to download the font. Now I've already done that and I've got it in a folder over here. So I'm just going to grab it and put it inside the assets folder over here. So that's our Hylia font. And what I want to do is open up the global styles and I want to register this font inside the global styles. So to do that, we'll be using the at font face rule like this. So at font face, the font family is Hylia Serif and this is the source right here. So as well as that, I want to style the H1s and the H1 is gonna be inside the root app component right here we've not created it yet but we will do it in a minute so I'll create that style h1 the font family is highly a serif which is this and the letter spacing is four pixels so let me first of all save that and then inside the header now I'm going to add in the title so let me do a div right here with a class of title and then inside that we're gonna do an h1 and inside that we'll say Hyrule jobs so if I save this now and come back over here to preview it, we can see it right here. All right, so I also want to copy in a couple of images into the assets folder. Now these you can find on the GitHub repo, lesson seven branch, the HA SVG, which you can't preview here, but you'll see it in a minute inside the browser and also the rupee. So next to this thing right here, I want to place the heart. So let's do an image tag first of all. And the source is going to be dot forward slash assets forward slash heart dot svg. And the alt over here can just be something like site logo. So as well as what we've just done, I also want to paste in a couple of styles down here for the header h1 and title. So the title right here, we displays flex and that's so that the image and the h1 sit next to each other. So that's these two things right here. And then the width of the image is 60 pixels, margin right 20 pixels, and we increase the font size of the H1. So if I save and preview this now, we have our title at the top. Awesome, cool. And that font is pretty nice, right? That's the font they use in Zelda games, pretty much. Anyway, that's the first thing I wanted to do. The next thing I want to do is add in the rupee icon right here next to the salary. So to do that, we need to go to our job list component. So let's open that up and then inside the salary if we scroll up here we want to place the image somewhere around here so i'm going to do it above the paragraph tag so image tag and then the source is dot forward slash assets forward slash rupee dot svg and the alt is just going to be rupee icon all right so if we save this and preview okay we get an error let me take a look at what's going on all right, because we're in the components folder, it needs to be double dot forward slash to come out of that directory first, then into assets. So if we save that now, now I can see this icon right here. Awesome. All right, so there's one more thing I want to do, and that's just to add some subtle animations to these list items right here when I click on one of these different buttons. So say I want to order by location and they switch position, I'd like to animate them so they slide into their new positions. Just makes it look a little bit better. Now to do this, we're going to be using the built-in transition group component. Now I'm not going to talk about this in too much detail. I've got a whole series on view animations and transitions. If you want to learn more, definitely check that out. I'll leave the link to that series in the video description below. So the way this works is we want to animate these li tags that we output. So we replace the ul with a transition hyphen group components. And we do that at the bottom as well. Transition hyphen group. And then we need to give this transition group a name. That is going to be equal to a list, but you can call it what you want. And also, what tag do we want to output for this transition component? Well, it's going to be the UL, because at the end of the day, a UL should wrap the LI tags. 
All right, so that's all we need to do here. We just need to add a style, a class down here for the transition. And the way this works is that we take the transition name and we called it list. So that's the start of the class hyphen move. So that means when these items move around and all we need to do is add on a transition property and say all, and then we want to say it's going to be over one second. So if I save this now and try this out, order by location, salary, you can see they now kind of slide into their new position. That was really simple to do. All right then my friends, so that is pretty much everything. So hopefully now you understand how to use TypeScript with Vue and you can go off and make your own projects with TypeScript and Vue. If you enjoyed these videos, my friends, please do not forget to share, subscribe and like, and I'm going to see you in the very next series.